Hello all, this is me Narendra, Microsoft Certified Professional with more than nine years of experience in IT industry. I welcome you all to my channel, Brother Ryan. Today I'm going to share the latest July 2022 AZ900 Microsoft Certified Fundamental Certification Dump. I'm sure if you go through this dump seriously, you are going to clear your certification for 100%. Most of these questions that I'm sharing here will come in your exam but I would recommend you to go through the Microsoft study material, understand the concept and come, these, come to these dumps so you can clear your certification and gain knowledge and Microsoft badge that you are looking for. I will share the link below in the description box for the Microsoft study material and I wish you all the very best for your AZ900 certification. Okay, so let's get started. So the passing mark uh, for the AZ900 is 700. Time limit will be 120, wherein it will be divided for you know to check in and all those stuffs. Uh, so this is the latest update from July 2022. So the question comes like this. These are the patterns how the questions will come. So let's get started. When you are implementing a software as a solution, SaaS, sorry, software as a services SaaS solutions, you are responsible for configuring high availability instructions. So you need to read this carefully. Review the underlying text. If it makes the statement correct, select no changes is needed. If the statement is incorrect, select the answer choice that makes the statement correct. So what it says is when you are implementing a software as a services SaaS solutions, you are responsible for configuring, configuring high availability. So this is uh, the right answer. What we have to select here is the D1 configuration, configuring the SaaS solution. Okay, it's not configuring high availability. It is configuring the SAS solution. So the answer would be D. Another question, you have an on-premises network that contains several servers. You plan to migrate all the servers to Azure. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that some of the servers are available if a single Azure data center goes offline for an extended period. What should you include in the recommendation? So the answer would be fault tolerance A. Another one for each of the following statement. Select yes if the statement is true. Otherwise select no. Note each correct selection is worth one point. So statements let's read it. A platform as a service pass solution that host web apps in Azure server provides full control of the operating systems that host applications. So this is incorrect so it would be no a platform as a services pass solutions that host web apps in azure provides the ability to scale the platform automatically so this is correct so the answer would be yes a platform as a services pass solutions that host web apps in azure provide azure provides professional development in service to continuously add features to custom applications so this is also correct. So it would be yes. Another one. So the same pattern. This is the another question. So let's go to the statements directly. Azure provides flexibility between uh, capital expenditure capex and operational expenditure opex. Yes, it provides. So it would be yes. If you create two Azure virtual machines that use the B2S size, each virtual machines will always generate the same monthly cost no it will uh, generate different different costs so the answer would be no when a azure virtual machine is stopped you continue to pay storage cost associated to the virtual machine yes obviously so this is one of the important questions you can make a note of this and i'm sure this will come in your exam so another is this question requires that you evaluate the underlying text to determine if it is correct. An organization that hosts its infrastructure in a private cloud can close its data center. So instructions review the underlying text. If it makes the statement correct, select no changes is needed. If the statement is incorrect, select the answer choice that makes the statement correct. So the correct answer would be in the public cloud. An organization that hosts its infrastructure in the public cloud can close the data center. So another one. What are two characteristics of the public cloud? Each correct answer presents, uh, presents a complete solution. 
so each uh, correct answer is worth one point so we need to select the correct answer the correct an correct answer would be uh, metered pricing and self service management d and e so another one this question requires that you evaluate the underlying text to determine if it's if it is correct so it's the same type of uh, question so let's read out uh, when planning to migrate a public website to azure you must plan to pay monthly usage costs instruction review the underlying text if it makes the statement correct select no changes is needed if the statement is incorrect select the answer choice that makes the statement correct so obviously you need to pay monthly uh, usage for the right so the answer would be a no changes is needed when planning to migrate a public uh, website to azure you must plan to pay monthly usage cost another one uh, this question is a part of a series of questions that presents the same scenarios each questions in the series uh, contains a unique solution that might uh, meet that stated goals some question sets might have more than one correct solutions while others might not have a correct solutions after you answer a question in this section you will not be able to return it as a result these questions will not appear in the review screen so you have to be more careful so let's go uh, your company plans to migrate all its data and resources to azure the company's migration plan states that only platform as a services patch solutions must be used in azure you need to deploy an azure environment uh, that meets the company migration plan solution you create an azure app services and azure sql database does this meet the goal yes obviously so it would be a the answer would be a so the question from the same series it is so let me go directly to the question your company plans to migrate all its data and resources to azure the company's migration plan states that only platform as a services pass solution must be used in Azure. You need to deploy an Azure environment that meets the company's migration plan. So the solution which is provided here is you create an Azure app services and Azure virtual machines that have Microsoft SQL Server installed. Does this meet the goal? No, this will not meet the goal. So the answer would be B. Again, another question from the same series. Your company plans to migrate all its data and resources to Azure. The company's migration plan states that only platform as a services pass solutions must be used in Azure. You need to deploy an Azure environment that meets the company migration plan. So the solution is uh, you create an Azure app services and Azure storage accounts. Does this meet the goal? No, this will also not meet the goal. So the answer would be B. So here comes another question your company hosts an accounting application named app one that is used by all the customers of the company app one has low uses during the first three weeks of each month and very high uses during the last week of each month which benefit of azure cloud services supports cost management for this type of uses pattern so the current answer would be elasticity c you, you plan to migrate a web application to Azure. The web application is accessed by external users. You need to recommend a cloud deployment solution to minimize the amount of administrative effort used to manage the web application. What should you include in the recommendation? So the correct answer, it, it would be B, platform as a services pass. Which uh, good deployment solution is used for Azure Virtual Machine and Azure SQL Database. To answer, select the appropriate options in the following area. Note, each correct answer is one point. So the, um, so the answer area is Azure Virtual Machine. It comes under infrastructure as a services. So there's a drag down. We need to select it appropriately. So the answer would be infrastructure as a services. So Azure SQL Database comes under platform as a services pass <laughs> sorry uh, you have an on-premises network that contains hundred servers you need to recommend a solution that provides additional resources to users the solution must minimize capital and operational expenditure costs what should you include in the recommendation so the answer would be a hybrid cloud D 
you plan to migrate several servers from an on-premises network to Azure. What is an advantage of using a public cloud service for the servers over an on-premises network? So the answer would be D. The public cloud is shared entity whereby multiple corporations each use a portion of the resources in the cloud. So another one again this question is a part of a series of questions that presents the same scenarios each questions in the series contain a unique solution that might uh, meet the state goals some question sets might have more than one correct solutions while others might not have a correct solutions after you answer a question in this section you will not be able to return it so be careful as a result these questions will not appear in the review screen so the question is you plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the service running on the virtual machines are available. If a single data center fails solution, you deploy the virtual machines to two or more availability zones. Does this meet the goal? Yes, this will obviously meet the goal. So the answer would be a yes. Again, from the same you know, scenario, the another question is uh, you plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the service running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Solution, you deploy the virtual machines to two or more regions. Does this meet the goal? Yes, obviously, if you deploy to the more multiple regions, the availability will be more. So the answer would be yes. So again, the drag and drop question is here. Match the Azure cloud service benefits to the correct description instruction. To answer drag the appropriate benefit uh, from the column of the left okay this side from the left to its description on the right okay each benefit may use be used once more than once or not at all note each correct matches is worth one point so these are the answers which we um, which we need to you know match to this description so let's read out the description a cloud services that remains available after a failure occurs so we need to select which is the correct one from here a cloud service that can be recovered after a failure occurs a cloud services that performs quickly when demand increases a cloud services that can be accessed quickly from the internet so we need to drag these from here and put it here appropriately. So let's look out, look for the answer. So the answer is a cloud service that remains available after a failure occurs is fault tolerance. Okay, a cloud service that can be recovered after a failure occurs is disaster recovery. A cloud service that performs quickly when a demand increases is dy dynamic scalability. Scalability. Sorry, a cloud services that can be accessed quickly from the internet is low latency. Okay, guys, so this is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and if you want more dumps on Microsoft certification courses, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and you can comment below if you want the next part of this because I, in these, uh, in this one, I have only 20 questions something. So I'll bring, a, bring the part two soon with a full set of the questions. So please subscribe, take care, signing off, Narendra, bye-bye.